कोई अपने को धोखा न दे यदि आप लोगों में कोई अपने को संसार की दृष्टि से ज्ञानी समझता हो तो वह सचमुच ज्ञानी बनने के लिए अपने को मूर्ख बना ले क्योंकि इस संसार का ज्ञान ईश्वर की दृष्टि में मूर्खता है धर्म ग्रंथ में यह लिखा है वह ज्ञानियों को उनकी चतुराई से ही फंसाता है और प्रभु जानता है कि ज्ञानियों के तर्क वितर्क निसार हैं इसलिए कोई मनुष्यों पर गर्व न करे सब कुछ अपना है चाहे वह पौलुस अपोलुस अथवा कैफस हो संसार हो जीवन अथवा मरण हो भूत अथवा भविष्य हो वह सब आपका है परंतु आप मसीह के और मसीह ईश्वर के हैं हमारे प्रभु सा मसीह के जय और आपको भी संत मरकस द्वारा गोष हमारे प्रभु ईसा मसीह का पवित्र सुसमाचार हमारे प्रभु ईसा मसीह की जय अध्याय तीन पद संज्ञा तेरा से लेकर ईसा पहाड़ी पर चढ़े वे जिनको चाहते थे उनको उन्होंने अपने पास बुला लिया वे उनके पास आए और ईसा ने उनमें से बारह को नियुक्त किया जिससे वे लोग उनके साथ रहे और वह उन्हें आबदूदों को निकालने का अधिकार दे अधिकार देकर सुसमाचार का प्रचार करने बेच सके ईसा ने इन बारहों को नियुक्त किया सीमोन को जिसका नाम उन्होंने पेतरुस रखा जबदी के पुत्र याकूब और उसके भाई योहन को जिनका नाम उन्होंने बोर बोनेरगस बौ, अर्थात गर्जन के पुत्र रखा आंद्रियस फिलिप बर्तलोमी मत्ती थॉमस अल्फे के पुत्र याकूब तदेयुस और सीमोन को जो उत्साही कहलाता है और यूदस इस करियोती को जिसने ईसा को पकड़वाया अरे प्रभु ईसा मसीह की जय dear respected bishop ji respected fathers sisters respected brother ji our 
my dear brothers and sisters. Since the two days, we are participating in the workshop on evangelization. Yesterday, we were reflecting on the subject of Holy Spirit and the showering of the power of the Holy Spirit upon us. Today, we are uh, reflecting especially on the mercy of God and also we heard about the tools for the evangelization. And yesterday's reading, gospel reading, and today's gospel reading, by the grace of God, it happened to be in connection with the theme of what we are reflecting. Today we heard in the call of disciples. When we look into the into today's gospel passage, we see that Jesus is withdrawing from crowd, from the seashore, and he is going on the mountain to be alone with his father. He is withdrawing from the crowd, from the seashore. And we can know that in the Bible, sea represents chaos, disorder, this world, or turbulence, agitation. There was a lot of crowd around Jesus. Jesus was healing. See, Jesus was sending out the demons from the people. And Jesus was very busy with uh, doing the mission. But immediately Jesus felt, uh, I have to withdraw and I have to go on, to the on the mountain for a particular purpose. And we know that the mountain is a biblical symbol where we can experience the presence of God and it is the place of revelation and it is a place of silence where a man can be united with his God especially for Jesus he can be alone with his father and yesterday we were hearing about the silence we were reflecting on the personal prayer. And Jesus is the example for us for this silence prayer, prayer of silence, and a personal prayer in our life. Jesus was now and then, especially when he was taking some important decisions in his life, he always withdrew from the people, and he went on the mountain, mountain or in a silent place, and he always remained with the Father, and then only he took uh, most of the important decisions of his life. My dear fathers and sisters, this is an example for us. Unless and until we withdraw now and then from the mission which we are involved in so much, maybe cultivation, maybe education, maybe in the hospital administration, or oh, our services in the hospital as doctors and nurses or any other mission work we are involved in. Sometimes we are so much involved in the mission and sometimes we forget about the, the solitude which we need in our life. We forget the presence of God. We forget the need of God, the power of God in our life. Now and then we need to, Jesus is reminding us that now and then, before doing any mission of our life, we need this companionship with our Father, and we need this personal prayer, we need the time of silence before God, and our, what is our mission, what we have to evangelize, that we have to get the message from the Father, 
and we need not to spread any message that we want to spread we have to only spread we are called to spread we are called to speak out with the message which god is giving us that is why god is specially called us and if you want to get the message what god want wants us to speak through our life through our mouth that we have to sit before the father and we have to get that message then only we can get out for preaching or doing our mission if we have no time to pray then there will not be any effectiveness in our mission and this is one of the important thing that the brother was telling these days we have to sit before the lord we have to encounter the lord in our personal prayer and we have to get the message from the father from the holy spirit what, what we supposed to speak and we were supposed to do in our life then get out of our get uh, go out for our mission then that mission will be effective and successful and god is giving us that message and whom did he called that is an interesting thing he did not call any wealthy people he did not call any person who had a good social position in that time he did not call anybody who had a special education or special degree or doctorate or something he did not call anybody who had called a special remarks in his life he called the common people the ordinary people he called and you just see the combination of that group and if we are a manager or if we want to make a group for a particular purpose in our life we will never call such a people to make an organization of a program in our life you see many of them were fishermen and matthew was a tax collector means what he was a, a supporting roman government which is against the jews and simon you see the simon simon was against against the romans matthew was for romans collecting taxes from the jews and simon was against the romans and he was ready to fight to free the uh, is uh, free the jews from the roman uh, roman empire and you see judas who is going to be he is a thief actually I mean, we read from the gospel that he used to take from the bag the money from the bag with the money which is uh, uh, put in the bag he used to take from there and he is actually a thief and he is going to betray jesus is an another person and we can see peter his impatient man who denied jesus three times and john and james we know very crazy for the power and position and when you see this group we there is we cannot understand why god is calling such a people for his mission and my dear fathers and sisters they are very ordinary people and jesus called them because he wanted them he liked them he wanted them uh, to be with him you know in order to do his mission so my dear fathers and sisters go we are also called not because of our merits it is a free gift of god our call is a vocation is a free gift of god we have nothing to boast about that it is a free gift of god we have got our own limitations we have got our own problems we have got our own weaknesses we have got our own uh, our own brokenness in our life but a god god called us because he wanted us he liked us and that he called us and we have to believe that god can do his greatest miracles which he wants in and through each one of us if god wants to do his greatest miracles he can do that in and through each one of us who is a uh, even though we are broken even though we are weak we are even though we are not uh, educated as we think as we wanted to be in our life so we can make sure that uh, god called us whom he wanted that means we are called and if anybody has got any vocation crisis you need to remove that one from your life 
because if god has called you he wanted you and he want to use you for his plan for his mission so you have to make sure that you have a good vocation and god called you with a, a purpose in your life and they came to him it is very dramatically written he called them then he came came to him they came to him my dear this is what the, the attitude which we need we need not to look into our life into our weaknesses in our problems in our brokenness if god has called you you please follow him please obey, please obey him please uh, pl please uh, try to do what god is telling us to do in our life and uh, they all came to him and uh, because of they came to him jesus is introducing the purpose of his calling and jesus is calling and he is appointing them what is the appointment the act of assigning a job or a position to someone he is assigning them for a particular purpose that is the appointment he is giving that for two reasons he is calling them two three reasons he is calling them to be with him this is the first purpose of his calling not to do the mission not to go out to preach not to do the miracles not to express our own talents not to do our own wishes god is calling us first and foremost god is god is calling us to be with him that is the first the, the most important purpose for which god is calling us and preach his message he is telling us why you have to be with god then you should get the message from god not anywhere else sometimes our preachings and our missions will become our own making and we get the idea from outside world maybe because of some companies are doing like this maybe because of some people are doing like this and major uh, multi uh, multi companies are doing so many profitable companies running and we may be looking at them and doing our mission it will not be successful and anything maybe our education maybe our preaching maybe doing any mission which we are looking at outside world and we are imitating them in order to spread the gospel it will not help us and god is telling us today clearly you have to do your mission you have to build up something in your diocese you have to build up something in your life if you have to build up something in your congregation sit before the lord and get the message from the lord and build up something according to the will of the father according to the will of the holy spirit according to the will of jesus christ if allah and until he get the message from the father don't set out don't get out and don't go and preach that is what it, that means every day we need to be with jesus every day we need to be with the father in order to know the will of the father and to do the will of the father if you are no time to sit before the god and we will not be knowing what god want us to do and without knowing what god want us to do if you get out we will go wrong in our mission we will go wrong in our personal life in our spiritual life so god is calling us to be with jesus and what is the, why to be with jesus he want to send preach his message why to give the power to two things he want to give them one is to give his message and give his power